good morning here we are we have ourselves a start to another day and yeah welcome to our vlog so here we go Well, first of all, I'd like to say, hopefully today goes better than yesterday. Yesterday was a touch on the frustrating side, but hey, you can't have, uh, well, all good days all the time, or else you forget what it's like to have a bad day. Well, today I got me an appointment bright and early in the morning. Uh, hopefully it's not cancelled. I did call um, both my person that made the appointment and the company where the appointment's at and uh, they all say it's a go so that mysterious phone call I got a couple days ago uh, nobody knows nothing about which of course is not uncommon for these kind of people so hopefully that's uh, still good to go and everything's well there go down there get that over and done with and then I have to decide uh, what my plans are for the day um, do I want to continue to the pursuit um, push harder for something to happen that may or may not be beneficial or do I just want to roll over let her slide and uh, put the money into something else you know um, like I've said in other vlogs I could pick up a cheap one for about fifteen hundred dollars two thousand dollars and uh, get by or I can uh, pick this one up and uh, be into it for you know six times as much and uh, have that um, tied up in that you know I do have the opportunity in the spring to sell it and maybe make three grand on top of it but is the risk worth the reward right is the um, is it worth to have that kind of money tied up in one object that you can't use 365 days out of the year you know I have to rent a lot um, to use it on or or so as well as I'll have to either pay storage for it to be stored when I'm not using it or I have to rearrange my yard uh, big time to make it work which rearranging the yard um, will be a bit of a mammoth undertaking because I have to relocate the shed uh, further up to park it behind but um, I guess how bad do you want it right <clears throat> When I uh, broke the news to the guy that I was buying it from, he offered to uh, give me a loan or finance it or basically he wanted to sell it. And uh, it was very, very hard to walk away uh, right now anyway. Maybe we'll see after Christmas, you know, into the New Year's how things shake out. I still have uh, home things I want to do here around the house. and there's always going to be surprises that need to be dealt with too right so you don't want to run yourself too short and end up not being able to do what you want to do but pretty much guys I gotta go out do some running around see where the day goes from here and around around we go so yeah you guessed her we'll probably catch you all late a little bit of an afternoon update well, I've had a few uh, setbacks today, but at the same time, a few victories. Well, this morning, I was uh, all primed to go out for an appointment that I had uh, to start my physio and all that. However, I got me a phone call from the powers that be uh, telling me to hold off on going. And when I asked why, they said, we'll discuss it later. Well, she they haven't called me back yet this afternoon like they said they were gonna there's still two hours left of their work day so you never know right <clears throat> they still might uh, you know call a guy back well um, I got a phone call from the uh, furnace guy I called him a couple of days ago on the uh, on the furnace I, I know I dumped six hundred dollars into it about this time last year to get it running again however that was a quick patch job 
and I knew um, in the next couple or three years that I'd have to replace it. However, I do have the opportunity right now to do it, and I am really, really kicking around the idea of replacing the furnace. Because, well, the furnace is a minimum of uh, 45 and quite possibly 50 or so years old. So, um, and it's not the right furnace for this house in terms of size-wise. So the guy that owned the house um, 20 years ago, uh, chances are, or 30 years ago before I bought her, uh, when the furnace, original furnace went or needed to be replaced, uh, he probably took one or that he had kicking around in his garage or one he replaced out of one of his other rental units. Essentially, I have a furnace that is uh, too big for my house and it is burning uh, more natural gas than what it needs to do. And given the um, house burning more natural gas to heat this house is not a good thing. I think it said it's a 160,000 BTU furnace where really I could get away with one that is like 80,000 BTUs. So uh, there's no point in having something that large, right? It is like having a big eight cylinder truck and then never doing nothing with it except uh, driving it around revving the engine. You're gonna use a heck of a pile of fuel and uh, make a bunch of noise, but you're never gonna get the uh, benefit out of it. I know it'll be costly as in terms of, you know, a few thousand, obviously, and there'll be a little bit of mess in terms of uh, what needs to be done, but hey, it'll be done and it'll be good. You know, unless something major changes in the next few years, I'm not planning on going anywhere. I, uh, I want to stay here and uh, ride this thing out. You know, it would be uh, nice to relocate or move to another city or uh, buy a newer home with some of the less worries, but at the same time, uh, the economy doesn't say so. And uh, why would I put you know, $300,000 with my home, have to sell it just to move six blocks across town and, uh, well, you know, buy a $500,000 house. Same with moving to the city, you know, you're going to be putting two, $300,000 with what I get from my house to buy another house in, and in who says there's even jobs there to begin with. So you'll go all this way and end up, you know, with nothing. So he's going to work up a quote and uh, see how far it gets. You know, I understand it's not going to be no $1,500 job because, well, the furnace alone is probably like $4,000, you know, and then you got all the labor and everything on top of it to do the uh, changeover. And I want to do some upgrades to the uh, hot water system and uh, plumbing while I'm at her. So there'll be a little bit of mess, a little bit of uh, advasive uh, uh, mess, but hey, we will deal with that as time progresses and it'll all work out the way it is supposed to work out. So, it is weird how uh, one door closes, another door opens. You know, maybe it wasn't the right time for me to go to my physio appointment again. Or, or who knows, you know, maybe that phone call I got a few days ago asking me for my credit card number because I was denied payment was actually a real phone call. And it just took me this long to get a response out of um, the powers that be saying what was what. Because when I called the powers that be uh, shortly after getting the phone call, they had no idea what was going on. So, hey, you never know, right? But pretty much, guys, of course, going to go inside, probably fire up the editor, uh, run a couple of videos through, get those uh, squared away for the editing. I have a couple more ideas that I want to shoot, and then, uh, well, it'll all be good. Well, hello YouTube, here we are. We come to the end of another day. Hi, it was a good day, a little bit of a stressful day, but hey, that is the way she is. The uh, physio appointment was cancelled, um, even though I did make it in November. Uh, they decided to cancel the appointment have no idea what direction they're going to go, what new thing they're cooking under their belt. If they want me up there to attend their program, but they don't want to say it as of yet, you know, maybe come New Year's, you know, January there, 
I will be up in Edmonton to do their program for another six to eight weeks. And they just don't want to say it yet until, well, it's closer to the date. It's a little bit on the frustrating side, you know. Um, I had a chance in May to complete the physio program. However, they cancel it because their words were that it wouldn't benefit me any. Well, here I am, you know, six months later or so, uh, trying to get back into it, where if they would have allowed me to finish the program, then everything would have been well. We could have parted our ways, and this would have been just nothing but a, a distant nightmare. But no, they had to do what they did, and uh, I don't know. Do I uh, tell them to pound sand to go away? Or uh, do I uh, play their game? Um, like I've mentioned in other vlogs, you know, they're not paying me benefits for my hours and time. My uh, cell phone bills have been higher every month because of their conference calls and long distance phone calls. So it is what it is, right? But pretty much, guys, gonna end her all here. Today was a good day, tomorrow's another one. And around and around we go. And as always, thanks for watching Maxwell's Vlogs. Comment, subscribe, and enjoy.